Hi guys. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to cover a pen. I don't know if you can see that or not. How to cover a pen with polymer clay. So, I have a sheet, a nice Skinner blend of um, peacock and green that's kind of blended to a purplish shade in the middle. We're going to make a girly girl pen today. Uh, so the first thing you do, you want to take your pen and you want to cover it with just a little bit of polymer clay, of liquid clay, and just kind of rub it all over. Of course, again, make sure that near you, by you, somewhere near you, is your best friend, baby wipes. Okay, every clayer's best friend. Now what you're going to do is take your pen and set it right down on that Skinner blended sheet. Now my sheet is just as long as my pen, okay? I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's just as long as my pen, and you're going to want to make sure that it stays about that length. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this the easy way. I'm going to take my blade, okay? I'm going to put it flat on my surface and use it to take the clay and push it up. Now a lot of people um, would just say to push it up and let it go, but I kind of do this a little bit differently. I'm going to keep a hold of my blade and I'm going to use it and start to roll with the blade on it. As I get toward the end, the blade is naturally going to fall off, okay? I haven't lost my straight edge and my clay is nice and straight, okay? I'm going to roll, make a little dent in the clay, and then when I unroll it, I'm going to see that dent, and I'm going to cut it off, okay? <clears throat> make sure you don't just do what I did, use back the blade, because that's bad. It didn't hurt my fingers, so it's a very dull blade. It's an old blade. <clears throat> okay, then you'll see the clay actually meets each other, and it has a tiny bit of overlap. Now we're going to get rid of that, okay? I'm going to move this aside, and on my work service, very slowly, I'm going to take it. I'm actually going to make these, so force them to overlap a little, like lightly pinch them together, okay? And then I'm going to take and I'm going to roll. I'm going to start at one end of the pen. I'm rolling very slow. I'm putting equal pressure on, and I'm going to move that way towards the end of my pen. What this is going to do is keep any air out from the clay, but if I roll this pen too fast, I'm going to get a whole bunch of air trapped in my pen underneath the clay, and I don't want that. Okay, now you'll notice I'm going to keep going. Now I'm going to cover this pen all the way to the tip, okay? So now we've got it covered. You can see where the original line, okay, you can see where it was. Okay, and you can see where it's now blended and that you don't see the seam at all anymore. It's just kind of gone, okay, and that's what exactly what we want. Now I'm gonna I call this petting the clay <laughs> using the soft part of my fingers. I'm gonna pet the clay to get out any of the extraneous um, fingerprints that might have collected. Now you'll notice I have a whole bunch of clay here on the back. We're gonna leave that for a minute. We're gonna focus on the front. See the front? Uh, you can kind of tell. See the little end of the pen in there? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pinch this clay around it. See that extra clay that I have? I'm going to now take that and I'm going to use my X-Acto blade. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. Now what this is going to do is create a new overlap. Now I probably could cut a little more, so we're going to do that. I would rather have not quite enough clay than too much. Okay, so now I've cut that extra off. You can see what it's done here. Okay, so now I'm going to take and I'm going to push that close with my fingers. I'm going to blend that seam really well. Kind of roll it back and forth a little bit here in my fingers. Okay, and then when I think I've done as much as I can with that seam, I'm going to place it back on my tile and push. Notice how the pen lifts from the surface. Okay, that's because of the angle. And I'm just going to sit and I'm going to roll it just like this with the angle of the tip of the pen. Okay, now what this has done, you can see that now that there is extra clay sitting there at the end. Not a big deal. Take and feel it with my fingers, and I'm going to trim it off. Now, I like to trim while turning the pen. I think it creates a little bit of a cleaner edge. I can clean up a little bit easier. Okay, now I want to show you this edge. I'm smoothing it out here, okay, making sure that there's no air bubbles. Okay, can you see that? Nice, smooth, clean edge. Now I have the back of the pen. You can kind of see here 
The pen's in there, obviously. There's a lot of clay, though, left over here at the end. Probably too much. So what I'm actually going to do is cut just a little bit of it off. Okay? And then I'm going to take, this is how much I cut off, then I'm going to take and I'm actually going to just push this closed. Okay, now what we're making here today, remember, is a girly girl pen. Now you can stop here, you can add polka dots, you can add stripes, you can add Melifiori canes, you can, you can do this pen upright any way you want. Okay, this is just how I basically cover a pen. Now this is my secret trick. I'm taking the pen, putting it in my palm, and I'm rolling it. And what this is doing is smoothing out that back end. It's flattening it down. And then I'm going to take it from the side. So now I'm getting the edge of the pen. And I'm going to do that same thing. This is going to create a nice round shape that blends immediately with the pen. Now the only bad part about doing it that way is you will see now I've left fingerprints all over the barrel of my pen. So we're almost done. But what I'm going to do is then take my fingers. Now notice I'm not letting my fingertips touch the pen at all, only this part here, my fingers. And I'm just rolling the pen very lightly, very, very little pressure. All I'm doing is getting out those deep fingerprints. There's still some surface fingerprints left, so again I'm going to take and roll and pet my clay. Okay, just pet, 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 make it nice and pretty, make that clay really, really shine. Okay, and this is Primo Polymer Clay so it's going to have a nice shine to it. Now right here I see an air bubble, which I don't want. So now I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to poke it. And there are lots of ways to get rid of air bubbles on a pen. This is my favorite way. And then I'm just going to take and seal it back up with my finger, roll it a whole bunch of times, and it's going to go right away. Okay. Yep, gone. And I don't want my pen to have bubbles, so as I pet the clay again, I'm petting it this way as well, rolling it forward and backward toward me and away from me. Okay, now here's the fun part. Here's where we get to make this a girly girl pen. Here's where all your daughters are going to love this, okay? I have here a piece of just saran wrap, okay? It's used saran wrap, so you can use whatever you have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ultra-fine glitter, you can even see that. I'm trying here. There we go. Some ultra fine glitter. Okay. And take this and I'm going to dump a whole bunch right here. Uh, I'm using my sculpting tool to do it. I use it as a spoon and glitter a lot. Um, the one thing that you are going to want to check when you do this is that it goes pretty much the length of your clay. Okay. So let's look here. Or I'm sorry, the length of your pen. It's not quite long enough, and I want to make sure that it's nicely dispersed so that I don't get chunks of glitter someplace. Now, it's only going to stick where there's exposed clay. Once there's glitter on it, it's not going to stick anymore, okay? You'll find this is a really, really cool technique that you're probably going to use again and again and again and again. At least I have when I do girly girl things. Okay. I've got some extra glitter on my fingers. That's okay, because we're going to put glitter on the whole pen. I'm going to set this pen in the middle of all this glitter. Now remember, I have glitter all over my fingers, so I'm going to take and just press that right onto the pen as best as I can, lightly, without leaving fingerprints. Again, I'm going to wipe off my fingers. You don't have to do that. Now, this is the cool part. I'm going to fold this saran wrap over my pen, and I'm just going to start to roll. It doesn't matter, really, what happens to the saran wrap. This is going to do a whole bunch of things for you. Number one, your pen is going to be coated with glitter. Number two, the glitter will not be all over your hands. And number three is that it won't stick to the saran wrap where it's covered. Now I'm going to actually take my pen off of here. I'm going to move it and put it down on another area to kind of get parts here that haven't been covered in glitter. Okay. Now you have to really like glitter to really like this pen. All right, now this whole thing is now covered entirely with glitter. I'll show it to you in a minute. But now what I'm going to do is kind of wrap the pen as securely as possible. Now, because there's glitter all over this, it's not going to want to stick anymore, the saran wrap. But I'm going to push kind of hard, and I'm just going to roll, 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 roll. I'm, going to, I'm getting glitter all over my work surface, and that's okay. Okay, it looks like my pen came a little bit unexposed here, so we're going to start over here. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. And what this is doing is, number one, it's not leaving fingerprints in my clay, 
But number two, it's really embedding that glitter down into the clay. It'll make my job after it bakes much easier. Okay, now before I show you the pen, always remember, clean up your work surface, especially when you're working with glitter, because the last thing you want to do is get glitter through a project where you don't want glitter. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the beauty that we just created. Look at this. Look at that glitter. That is a cool item. Okay, now you're going to bake it according to the manufacturer's instructions.